What is going on? Today we are talking about what a smart contract is and here's the hard part. I'm gonna try to describe it to you in as little technical language as possible using stick figures, okay? <laughs> okay. So if you're new to cryptocurrency and you wanna know what a smart contract is, because it's important, you wanna know what you're investing in, uh, this is the video for you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm on a journey to one Bitcoin. I'm a brand new crypto investor, okay? I, this is, I am not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm a cowboy. I give cowboy advice. So you can't sue me, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> so I'm just looking for some other crypto crypto uh, cowboys out there who have little lizard brains, gorilla arms, and diamond hands exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency with me. So if you are, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell for any updated content. And of course, if you're feeling generous during this video and you want to help me grow this channel, I would appreciate a like button if you're just feeling generous. Now, to understand what a smart contract is, we have to stretch our little lizard brains, okay? The, the, what a smart contract is, is just a piece of, it's, it's, it's code on a computer. It's just a coding language that states, hey, if something happens, then something else happens, okay? In marketing, we call this an if this, then that, uh, you know, logic or conditional statement. Uh, if something happens, then something else happens. And I think the best way to understand this is by thinking about a calculator. If I put in two plus two, then it will equal four, right? If I put in five plus five, then it will equal, of course, 10. There's no like, there's no like thinking about it. Like the computer is, the calculator is programmed to take, if the inputs come in, then it brings out, you know, a result. This is just, it's like straight, math and nerdy geeky computer language the best way to think about it is a calculator another way to think about it is of course a vending machine this is one of the most famous um, uh, examples of what a smart contract is you could put in you know c7 beep bop beep boop and then the thing will drop down a chips ahoy bag right if you put in c7 beep bop beep boop then a Snickers bar will drop or a crunch bar will drop or whatever, you know what I mean? So that's what a smart contract is. Now, between you and what you want, okay, here's you, and here's what you want. Okay, that looks a little inappropriate. I'm gonna delete that guy. <laughs> between you and what you want, there is a bunch of middlemen. So pretend like you want a house, okay? And for you to want this house, there's a whole bunch of people, there's a whole bunch of middlemen that you have to go through, okay? Um, for instance, uh, like there's a bank, there's loans that, you know, you got to prove who you are. You got to have two months of uh, statements of, you know, ver verified, uh, uh, what's that called? Income. You got to have your social security ID. You got to have four forms of identification, blah, blah, blah. You got to have all this stuff, okay? And there are some drawbacks to that. The first drawback that I could think of is that it is very, very slow. Slowness, I mean, it just takes time to process all this. It takes effort and uh, to, to go through every single you know piece of identification and go through all of that. Uh, the other thing is that people can control your info, right? Pe you know, all that info is going out. Now it's being held by these third parties and they could do whatever they want with that info. The next thing is that they could have a lot of errors. Having a lot of errors is very, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know about you, but there are people who've mishandled my information all the time and they're always having errors. And so uh, the fourth one is that there are tons of hacks. I mean, banks get, are getting hacked, businesses are, are getting hacked. I mean, it happens all the time. The fifth one is that there are tons of fees involved. If you're trying to buy a house, it's not just the house you're buying. There's there's all these fees. There's like $10,000 in fees usually. It's just incredible. Another thing is that there might be bad people you're dealing with and you don't even know it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, just, you don't even know that you're dealing with a bad, um, I don't know, like bank or person teller at the bank or whatever. Um, seven, that there could be changes to policies and the way that, you know, they handle things or don't handle things. It's just incredible. And so for you to buy this house, there's a ton of stuff that can happen and go wrong. And uh, it's slow and it's expensive and there's changes and you know, there's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just so bad. Now, what a smart contract does is it replaces this third party 
with a calculator or rather like a protocol on the blockchain okay and this is a smart contract and it replaces it on a blockchain and what a, basically a blockchain is is a way is a network of individual computers and people verifying each other so let me give you an example what if you wanted not a house we'll get to the house but what if you wanted a car oh baby you want this sweet sweet car now if you want that car what if someone put up all the details of that car the make the model the, the, the details the, the the price of the car the history of the car the title of the car um, and all of that if you want all of that gets put onto the blockchain right uh, and then you want to buy it so you give and you pay you know your hard-earned money into that blockchain or into the smart contract then the the smart contract will then do the exchange for you guys automatically and then it's verified by the blockchain meaning that all these different computers will verify each other because in these other in like a bank or whatever they do the verifying right they do the verifying and they could make mistakes but these guys will do the the verification so we answer some of these problems it is no longer uh it is no longer slow it is now fast instant actually okay people don't control your info you control your info okay there are no more errors that's incorrect because it's it, they're all verifying each other and so the margin for error is is as much as two plus two equals four inside a smart contract it's just it's just you know an input that's all it is it's programmed to do, do what it's what how many times has a calculator been wrong you know it's, it doesn't happen it doesn't get hacked it's fully secure okay and the reason why that is is because uh, how a blockchain works is that half of it over half of the computers would have to be hacked at the same time in this exact instance it just it it's impossible it's it's completely secure it's way more secure than a centralized form of information like like say a bank which get hacked all the time get leaks gets hacks all the time the fees are cut down tremendously you got to pay fees for you know the loan officer and the bank teller and all that kind of stuff and you got to pay for the food and their family and the housing and all that stuff all that's all that's gone there's no more bad people there because it's just a computer program as much as a calculator right and um there are no more changes because a smart contract is immutable it's it's like i keep coming back to it but it's about as secure and unchanging as a calculator you know what i'm saying so that's what it is now remember a smart contract is an if this then that it it's just if you put in money then that happens now why is this important because this could really change the world this can change the way how everything works however the speed it cuts out huge industries it's huge industry disruptor it's better for the end users at i mean it's it's better for everyone you know because what if you don't have a car to sell what if instead you have a house that cuts out all those middlemen that means you save on all those fees and and then it's instant so like in an, in an instance of a car if someone wants to prove hey how do i own this car i just bought it through like digital internet money you would have a digital identification card of that car so if an officer pulls you over hey license and registration please you pull up your phone you say look check check your blockchain this is mine this car that i'm in right now this is mine and they'll say yeah great i mean you know if they're if they're on blockchain as well and to to do that it's just very easy to kind of track that what if the, what if you have to span huge spaces like you know cities and states and countries and you know oceans or whatever what if instead you needed like a heart transplant or an organ that's critical well if someone updates the the database and says hey we have a we have a new heart that we want to you know we does someone want to use it and you updated your your information saying hey yeah i need a new heart that happens automatically think of the hours 
and time that it could save. I mean, maybe I don't know what the shipping cost is from like a Chinese heart all the way to America. That you know, that would take like what like 24 hours in the air tra- just traveling but imagine you were just a few states away or a few just a few miles away or you know what i mean like people don't people don't realize that this is just all a big computer database this is all just one big network and saying hey these could actually this could actually save lives here because of the speed and the and the and the processing is just all cut down to zero because it is just a computer it's just a calculator anyway that's what a smart contract is. I hope that was very helpful to understanding. It's just some program uh, that is bo- backed by blockchain, secured, uh, that there's no, there, I mean, it's fast. You control your info. There's no errors. Um, the fees are down. It removes all the malicious people in there, and it's unchangeable. It's immutable. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you, you know, that was helpful to you, that's silly example. My name is Aaron. Hit subscribe button down below if you want to ha- follow me on my journey to one Bitcoin. Hit the notification bell for any updated information. Give me a like button if you uh, are feeling generous and want to help me grow this channel. And of course, you know, I'm just trying to roll with some, some awesome cowboys out there with lizard, lizard brains, grill arms, and diamond hands. We'll see you on the moon.